Henry Yakarundi, the innovative, an innovative entrepreneur from Rwanda. Un plaisir d'accueillir aujourd'hui Henri Nyakarundi. Pour en parler, l'équipage reçoit son concepteur, Monsieur Henri Nyakarundi. Welcome again to the HN Vlog, man. Today I want to talk about CSR, Corporate Social Responsibility. For those who don't know, it's usually programs by big corporation or medium-sized corporation, but usually big corporation that um, you know have programs, uh, program the social programs. And today I want to talk about why it's a dying brain, the death of CSR. You know, I've been following uh, the trend. You know, CSR is something that started a few decades ago by a corporation to really, you know, not just make money, but show that they have a social side of it. So usually what they do is, uh, what the ones I've seen, I mean, they have different programs, but usually it's the same thing. They buy a bunch of stuff for low-income communities. They have some short, you know, short-term programs. They're only short-term programs, right? So they use a small part of their money for social reach. And they select, you know, the, the team within the company decide what's going to be the CSR program this year or this quarter, depending on how they have it scheduled. But it's a dying breed. Uh, it, it's, a, it's, it's, it's not really, doesn't have the impact uh, that it should have. Because when you give something, you buy, like, let's say, a bunch of laptop or a bunch of book for a school, that's it. And then how do you know? Those books bring an impact. How do you know that uh, those laptop, you know, provide, uh, if, if you give laptop, I've seen programs, CSR program, that give laptops, or tablets, sorry, uh, to, to uh, areas with no electricity. True story. <laughs> and uh, great, they gave 100 uh, plus to students and all that, but those students don't have electricity at home. They don't have ways to charge it. So. The program kind of died, and I've seen a lot of, it's not even a program, the, the project was a failure. A lot of CSR pro projects are failures. Now, again, I don't want to generalize. I know I get a lot of feedback on comments, and hey, my, my CSR pro project was a success. We help X amount of, of people, uh, so on and so forth. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. What I'm saying, it's a terrible strategy, especially today's day and age with social impact enterprise. See, the, pro the problem when you, when, you, when you help a community, the challenge is help takes time. Help, you have to understand the root of the problem. You have to understand that whatever project you bring in, and even when you implement the project, you realize other layers of challenges that comes into that you need to address that social enterprise do because a social enterprise it's a long-term approach of solving a problem by bringing a solution that has an impact and because you live off that solution it's a business you know you have to solve those problems and you're there for a long-term period so csr is totally the opposite you select a, a, a project, a community, you come up, you give, you take a few pictures. Um, you know, I'm generalizing, of course. And then that's it. There's no follow-up. There's no try to study and collect data of that project most of the time. Uh, if there's other layer of challenges to that project, they can't follow up because it's just a one time. And what I truly believe what CSR I mean, companies that have CSR department needs to do, it's converted into two things, either an investment fund for social impact. So now you, 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 uh, yeah, you, you investing in, 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 in social enterprise that are solving key problems uh, in those communities. And it, it brings that not just an investment, but a, a partnership approach of things. And it doesn't even have to be funding. It can be a partnership uh, uh, structure where, you know, you, you, you can donate certain things that that social enterprise need 
you know, to, to implement their project. So that's one approach, right? Uh, 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 a small fund. And you can have this fund, uh, you know, it doesn't have to be a huge fund, $100,000 a year of fund. And if you don't want to manage it, find another company to manage it. The second thing is, which will be less expensive to manage, so on and so forth, it's a grant program to already social enterprise. So if you have a concept or you, you, you have a project you want to bring in, you want to address a certain problem, instead of you, and when I mean you, the, the corporation trying to, you know, do it yourself with, with, within your team, you develop a grant program, you know, and on the grant program, you say, well, we're looking for enterprise trying to address this problem for X amount of money prize you get. Guess what? Same thing. Now you're contributing to a social enterprise trying to solve that problem, and they'll do a much better job than the CSR program. Uh, hands down. Uh, and again, this is not a competition be between CSR and social enterprise. It's just that the way CSR are designed have a much bigger room for failure than a social enterprise uh, the way they design. It's, 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 it's really common sense, you know. There's no argument around that. So that's what I want to talk to you about, man. And those are solutions I think corporations should look at, right? You know, do you really want to solve the problem, corporation? Do you really want to bring an added value? Don't you think you'll have a much added value if whatever solution or whatever, you know, community and project you want to bring to those community, if they're successful, then guess what? They'll look up on you and say, wow, you guys did a good job. Even if you didn't do it directly, you went through indirectly with a social enterprise, right? Instead of you just doing a deed and then leave and then, you know, next thing you know, you don't know if that deed long term had a real impact or not. Uh, so by design, those CSR need to change. And, and they need to graduate to something more. I think in this day and age, with how mature now social enterprise has become, um, the CSR program needs to die. You know, it just does not fulfill the purpose. Back then, there was no social enterprise. So it was something good to do because there was nothing else going on. But now it's something different. All right, guys, put comment, subscribe. You know, if you like what you're saying, write some comment, ask some question. And if you're a corporation, man, look at it as more of a, an objective approach and not necessarily as a, 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 this is not a criticism. Take care.